Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let me turn around. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Samurai Black Zack, and I'm back again with another video. And uh, yeah, as you can see, hold on a second. Your boy's rocking that Frank Castle uh, the Punisher shirt. I got this bad boy from Amazon. It's a really good shirt. It's one, Cause the Punisher is one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters of all time. But anyway, uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the reboot of Blade. Now, as we all know, the trilogy has ended in 2001 when Blade Trinity has dropped. And if it wasn't for Blade between 1998 and 2001 where Wesley Snipes had a... Uh, Keep it low like that. Uh, where Wesley Snipes was the pretty much the only guy that could pull off the Blade character, in my opinion. That's for now. We're not gonna talk about Sticky Fingers because let, 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 let's just not talk about him at all. What I'm here to talk about is the new reboot. As you can see, Mahershala Ali is going to be playing the role of Blade. And even though I did say a few minutes, seconds ago that um, <clears throat> Wesley Snipes was perfect for the role, I can actually see uh, Mahersha Ali playing the role quite well. We've seen the picture of, we've seen basically like the teaser movie poster of him. And he looks like a very good, uh, a very good uh, actor who could pull off the role. But my problem is, I was looking on Facebook one day. Excuse my ashy knuckles. I just keep my hands down. I was looking through. I was looking through Facebook one day, right? And I saw an arc article about Blade that really, really caught my eye, but also disappointed me. It was the fact that Blade, the new reboot, of course will be getting a PEG-13 ready. Are you serious right now? Kevin, if I'm, if I'm butchering his name, please let me know in the comments what his real name is. Kevin Feige, the guy behind the MCU movies, basically stated that um, ever since, the, I guess, ever since the MCU has taken off, they wanted to... Uh, make the newer i think it's phase four i believe if i'm not mistaken the new phase four uh, projects more family friendly oriented the only character that's not going to be family friendly is deadpool so let me get this straight blade eric stevens born half human half vampire inherited all the vampire traits the strength and none of their weaknesses. That means he's not allergic to garlic. He's not allergic to silver. He's not allergic to sunlight. The only problem that he has is the fact that he has to fight uh, the thirst to drink other people's blood. And you go, this guy is basically a vampire slayer. And when it comes to vampire movies, they're usually rated R. Not this reboot, though. So you mean to tell me that this new reboot, Blade, clearly, <laughs> clearly a guy who kills vampires is getting the PG-13 movie. Are you serious right now? Are you really serious right now? I mean, come on, man. I'm a Blade fan myself. A lot of people are Blade fans. And everybody know Blade is not meant to be a family... <clears throat> a family-friendly character. Who's a family-friendly family character? Let's see. Uh, Spider-Man. Ant-Man. I think. Uh, which, uh, let, let, let's see, let's see, let's see, who else, who else, who else, who else, who else, let me think, uh, oh yeah, The Incredible Hulk, those are kind of sort of fam family friendly characters, 
but yeah, you go make Blade as a family friendly movie franchise. How crazy is that? Are you really, really serious right now? That's like making the this character clearly has has a skull on his chest. A PG-13. I wish I wish you would would make a PG a PG-13 movie as a punch. I, re I really do. Cause I'm gonna make the same rant that I'm making right now about how Blade. This is ridiculous, man. Deadpool, of course. Deadpool is very is the inappropriate version of Spider-Man. We get that. We get that. He he has a potty mouth. Okay, good. But you but once again, you can't make Blade a family friendly movie. I don't care how f I understand that the MCU is bigger than it was years ago. But if you remember, Blade is the only reason why the MCU is today. So let me so how are you gonna even make it make the fight scenes PG thirteen related? What you gonna uh, stab a guy and you gonna take his sword and stab a vampire in the chest and then look at Mahershala Ali like that? Come on, man! That, 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 you know you know that's not happening, right? You know that you know that can't work. S slicing heads off. You mean to tell me you won't so as the scene where Blade will slice a, a, a vampire's head off? Come on, man! <sighs> this is too ridiculous. The fact that I even, I wish I never, sometimes I wish I never actually read that, read that post. But I had to get to, get to the bottom of it somehow. Really, the, really Marvel, Disney, Disney. Come on, reconsider, reconsider, reconsider as a guy who's a fan of Blade, reconsider making Blade a rated R movie again. Because we're not trying to make this a Vampire Diaries or Twilight Saga series. If any consolation, I just want the movie to be rated R. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. And there are some people in the comment section who may agree with me, and there are people who will not agree with me. But the people who will agree with me will kind of sort of understand where I'm coming from with all this, you know what I mean? So, that's all I gotta say. Uh, that's my two cents. I'm Samurai Black Zach. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And tap that notifications bell for more awesome content. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.